Developing now, a woman's burned body is left near a dumpster in an alley in the south suburbs. A village inspector made that grisly discovery. CBS 2's V. Wynn is live at the Riverdale Police Department, where V, the family of a missing woman, is waiting to see if it's their loved one. Brad, that's right. Family reported her missing when she didn't show up to orientation for a new job. They spent most of the afternoon here at the police department working with detectives to see if their loved one is the same person who was found dead yesterday afternoon. Family and friends of Rachel Catledge waited outside the Riverdale Police Department fearing the worst. Her cousin came to the crime scene behind this apartment building in Riverdale praying it wasn't her. Don't have a clue. Sweetheart, all she does is work a job and take care of her son. Catlich was reported missing this week in Burnham when her mother couldn't get a hold of her. The family put together this flyer to try to find her. Yesterday afternoon, a village employee found a burned body near this dumpster on South Atlantic Avenue while on a routine inspection. The crime scene right across the street from where family says Catlich used to live in Riverdale. Just don't want it to be like, nah. Not her. You see it happening to people all the time, but you don't never think that it could be not someone close to you like this. The medical examiner says she was strangled, and now Catledge's family wants to know if it's really her. Beautiful young lady, and I just hope this isn't her. I wouldn't hope this is anybody's daughter or anybody's child, for that sake. I just hate to think what her son has to go through and if she had to suffer like that. Family says Catledge has a four-year-old son and several tattoos, something the medical examiner is looking at to help positively identify the victim. Reporting live from Riverdale, V. Wynn, CBS 2 News.